both CAD users. We like CAD. We muck around with CAD a lot, and we're always making different versions of things. So tell me, what kind of advice do you have for, I don't know, versioning control? or That's the one thing that, that that's the hardest thing. Uh, so this is a big problem in the studio. We tried using GitHub for a while. Yes. It didn't really deal with big files very well. I had a little trouble. Um, I have I don't have I have no good answer for this. It's probably the biggest problem in my life. We've tried Fusion 360. Uh, it's nice, really nice, having something like in the cloud, um, something that has version control built in. Um, yeah, but I think like, you know, that's one piece of software that I think has done it well. But we still use like five other different CAD platforms. So underscore I, I one underscore B. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it's like date and time is that's like pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're time and author. Okay, yeah, cool. we're in the same page here. It's like yeah. it's still hard. Software companies are still figuring it out. But they are. We're yeah. working through it. Okay. Um, so you're using Maya and stuff. What kind of um, Maya's? You know, really good for visual effects and stuff, but also simulation. So yes, maybe I could make some rain, or I can make water. What kind of stuff do you use to sort of do form and shape on the body? Yeah, we, not much. Um, actually, we use the simulation a lot for form generation. Okay. Uh, like we use particle systems for form finding, or um, but. Uh, no, like I don't. We don't really do a lot of fabric simulations or drapes. I mean, I think the way that what we're designing is behaving is very hard to anticipate. Um, like a lot of these, like chain mills, and, and th like I mean, they, they behave kind of like that. But then, like once we start getting into situations where, like maybe we're having a fiber orient, like on chrome mat, you know, we might be changing the orientations of those fibers, like from one half of the body to the other. And then, like you know, that drape is not like a it's not like a fabric simulation where they're expecting that to have a kind of homogeneous weave where it's the same all around right you're going to get a different drape pattern um, so like that's also a big gap for us we have to prototype like i think because we're actually making the textile um, and that textile is behaving in ways that are not like traditional textiles so um, yeah it's it's actually that's a that's another we lose a lot of time on that Okay, um, you talked a little bit about algorithms making sort of the form for you. Um, do you use any custom mel scripts in Maya? A lot. Um, we do use a lot of, well, I, that was kind of where I got started programming. I learned to program in, in mel, and then I started learning the Maya API, so um, that was what I got into C++. And then, but right now we're actually doing a lot of uh, open frameworks, and we're kind of starting to do more standalone. We just find we need a lot more computing power lately than, than piggyback on other software is not enough juice. Last one, um, preferred slicer? <laughs> preferred slicers. I, slicers are like the bane of my existence because, okay, so if you are using CNC software, right, you can, you can control your toolpath. Uh, and you can say, I want the tool to be doing this, this fast here, and I want it. But with slicers, for some reason, you can't do that. And slicers are generating toolpaths. And I wish there was a slicer that was actually like a toolpath authoring piece of software. Um, that seems to be a big gap. Uh, so actually, we're, we actually wrote our own. We're, we're building. It's so like we model curves now, and we just we output our own G code right now for FDM um, because like that, that we didn't have any tools for that. You hear it here, folks. Design your own slicer. Be a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or simplify 3D. Okay, that's all the questions I have. That's badass, man. Cool. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks. Um, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.